Hi, this is Kit Welchland and welcome to Welchland.com. Today's video blog is on leadership. The question is, what does learning have to do with leadership? I've heard that a leader needs to be a lifelong learner. Hey, I have the degree, I have the experience, so why would I need to take more time to study the stuff I already know? Besides, reading makes me tired. What does learning have to do with leadership? There are many studies that show the more you learn, the more you earn. I couldn't care less about that, but I am amazed at the difference a good book makes in our decision making, relationship building, and peace of mind. With so much information at our fingertips, leaders need to be connected with the constant flow of information and alert to altering of ideas and insights. No one can come close to knowing it all, and leaders need to stay abreast of changing conditions and available information. Learning isn't easy, and it is especially hard to interest people in things they think they already know. Sometimes people have an unwillingness to learn and an unwillingness to recognize and accept reality. Leaders need to continually seek information through a variety of avenues, such as by reading books, listening to audiobooks, and participating in professional associations. Sometimes leaders make a wrong decision, and that is understandable. However, refusing to search continually for learning opportunities is not. I guess I do have a couple of ideas, uh, or a couple of areas I could brush up on. Since I wouldn't necessarily have to read it all, I could incorporate some audiobooks and maybe join a professional interest group. Hey, it might even be kind of fun. Thank you for watching this video blog on leadership. So the question was, what does learning have to do with leadership? Lifelong learning is critical for the future success of leaders. Somebody somewhere on the other side of the country or the world has access to the same information. If we aren't paying attention and somebody else is, we may lose our competitive advantage. Check back to Welshland.com every Monday for a new video blog. <coughs> Ugh, yuck. I'm not looking forward to it. I wish it wouldn't have happened. I know it will be different from here on out. Maybe a more business-like approach will be good, I guess. If it's going to be, it's up to me.